In today's video, I will teach you how to leverage the tree of thought process from the research paper that just came out, where they claim that the chain of thought prompting process increases the problem solving skills of LLMs by several hundred percent. We are gonna use this with some practical examples in ChatGPT4 among finding the best approach you should take when asking your boss for a race. I'm gonna go through this step by step so you don't miss anything. Let's get started. Let's start by looking at exactly what is the tree of thought process. So the concept here is that we think about problem solving like exploring a vast forest with numerous paths. So those paths are our reasoning options. Traditional AI methods now usually just follow one trail and hope it leads to the right answer. However, if that is a dead end and the answer was kind of bad, they don't backtrack, they don't try another route. The tree of thought approach allows AI models to consider multiple trails simultaneously. So those trails will be our reasoning paths, right? They can backtrack if necessary and intelligently pick the best one. So basically how the tree of thought approach works, it's like more thinking of a human way like to solve problems because humans like to think about several possible solutions for a complex problem and then evaluate them one by one. And then after a while we can pick which one that seems the most likely to work after we have evaluated all of them. And that is basically how this works, but it of course is interpreted by a large language model. So let's just start with our first step in this process. And that is gonna be the brainstorm phase. The purpose of this phase is to generate a diverse range of solutions to a problem. The prompt here is gonna just be, I have a problem or this is the problem related and they just describe your problem. Can you brainstorm three or more if you want to distinct solutions? Please consider a variety of factors such as, and then you just put in a bunch of factors. I'm gonna show you now. So let's just head over to ChatGPT4 and type in this prompt. Over here, we're gonna start with the prompt, act as a psychologist and an HR expert. Your task is to assist the user with difficult problems. Acknowledge this by answering yes. So the reason why I wanted a psychologist and an HR expert is of course to try to game the boss to get a raise. So we're gonna follow up with the brainstorming phase of the tree of thought prompt. So hello, I have the following problem. How am I supposed to tell my boss I want a raise? And I want to give some information about my background. I am a 32 year old male. I'm a bit shy and I don't like to stand out. I steer away from conflict. I have been at the company for six years and only had one race. I also have a baby on the way and that's part of why I need a race. Could you brainstorm three distinct solutions? Please consider a variety of factors. And then I want the factors to be my background, timing, preparation, professionalism and value proposition. Okay, so let's run that and see our three solutions. Okay, so we have three ideas or solutions back here. So we have the written request. If you feel more comfortable expressing yourself in writing, you could choose to send a request via email or formal letter. So the background is this could be a better method for you since you describe yourself as shy and conflict avoidant. Okay, not bad. Performance review. You can also just wait until your next performance review where you where discussions about compensations are expected. This can be less confrontational as it's an expected part of the process. The final one is a direct conversation. Schedule a meeting to talk to your boss directly about your desire for a race. While this might seem daunting given your aversion for confrontation, it can also be the most straightforward and effective approach. Okay, interesting. Now let's move on to the next phase. The next phase is gonna be the evaluation. After we now have generated those ideas in ChatGPT, this phase aims to objectively assess the potential success of each option. The prompt now is just gonna be for each of the three proposed solutions or more if you did that, evaluate their potential, consider their pros and cons, initial effort needed, implementation difficulty, potential challenges and the expected outcomes. Assign a probability of success and a confidence level to each option based on these factors. Okay, that's good. Let's copy that, head back to ChatGPT. Let's just paste in the prompt and let's run it. Let's take a look here now. So you can see this really has expanded uh, solutions here. So we have some prompts and cons. Uh, allows you to fully express your thoughts and ideas without being interrupted. So that's the written. 
The absence of immediate feedback could lead to uncertainty and stress while waiting for a response. That's very true for a written request. We got some potential challenges. Your request may be not treated as urgent in a face to as in a face-to-face -face conversation. Your boss uh, will have time to process your request, possibly leading to a more thought-out response. Probability of success 60%, confidence level 70%. So the performance review has a pro of a natural op uh, opportunity to discuss uh, your compensation. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you may have to wait for next review, which could be months away. That's true. So let's see at some challenges. Other employees uh, may also be seeking raises, leading to competition for available resources. That's a good point. Expected outcome, you could receive immediate feedback uh, about your performance and potential for a race. 70 and 75%. Direct conversation. The pro here is direct face-to-face -face communication can be the most effective way to convey your request. Mm -hmm. It can be stressful, especially if you're shy or conflict-averse. Uh, you may also face direct rejection. Ooh, that stinks, right? Potential challenges, nervousness, anxiety, and not being able to effectively communicate your thoughts during conversation. Mm -hmm. Probability of success, 65, 65. Okay, that was interesting. Now let's move on to the next phase of the tree of thought process. It's gonna be the expansion phase. So this stage involves delving deeper into each ID, refining it, and imagine its implication in a real world context. So the prompt here is just for each solution, deepen the thought process. Generate potential scenarios, strategies for implementation, and necessary partnerships or resources, and how to potential obstacles might be overcome. Also, consider any potential unexpected outcomes and how they might be handled. Okay, good. Copy that. Go back to ChatGPT and run it. Let's just run the expansion prompt and see what happens. Okay, let's take a quick look here. So let's head all the way up. So we have some potential scenarios. Your boss could agree, disagree, or choose to discuss the matter in person. So when you do a written request, maybe you get uh, a request to do it in person instead, right? Unexpected outcomes. The request might be forwarded to HR or higher management. In that case, be prepared to discuss your request with them too. Mm -hmm. Performance review. Your boss could agree unexpected outcomes. Yeah, it's basically the same. It's handed over to an HR representative. Uh, direct conversation. If your boss postpones the discussion, polite insist on its importance and attempt to reschedule as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Unexpected outcomes. Your boss may suggest an alternative like a bonus or non-monetary benefit. Be open to this, but remember to assess if they meet your needs. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's move on to our final phase. It's gonna be the decision phase. So in this phase, based on the evaluations and scenarios generated, the AI ranks each solution in order of promise. This prompt is just based on the evaluations and scenarios, rank the solutions in order of promise. Provide a justification for each ranking and offer any final thoughts or considerations for each solution. That sounds great. Okay, so let's copy that, head back to ChatGPT and see what kind of solutions is ranked the best. Okay, so let's just paste it in here and a run. Okay, I think this is some good stuff here. So let's take a, look, a closer look here. So ranking these strategies, I would suggest the following order. Performance review first, written request and direct conversation. So we have justification. The performance review options aligns with the company's regular process for discussing performance and compensation. Yeah, also your boss might be expecting this conversation during the performance reviews, making the process less confrontational. We have some final thoughts. Prepare well for re your review. Have clear examples of your achievements, additional responsibilities, and any beyond uh, above and beyond efforts. That's a good final thought. So we have the written request. Uh, this strategy gives you the chance to articulate your thoughts clearly and concisely without the stress of a face-to-face -face conversation. So the final thoughts here is ensure your letter is professional, respectful and compelling. If the response to your request is a discussion, be prepared to explain your points in person as well. Yeah, that's good. And despite being ranked third, it's still a valid and common used approach. That is the direct conversation. The final thoughts here is, if you choose this strategy, practice will be key. 
Have a script or talking points prepared prepared and run the run through the conversation with someone you trust to gain confidence. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I like how it did like uh, it's uh, the most straightforward method, but it can be stressful, especially for someone who's shy and avoids conflict. So that stems back to our background, right? Okay, so I was really impressed by this tree of thought chain prompting process here. Uh, I think it produces very good results and I can't wait to dive deeper into this to see how deep we can go. So I'm gonna try to alter this to perform uh, to get it to perform even better. Uh, I did not do any comparisons now, but I just know from experience using ChatGPT and GPT-4 uh, that this is pretty good results and it's very easy to use. I'm gonna leave a link to the research paper in the description below. And I hope you found this interesting and maybe this could give you some good ideas. I'm thinking I might do a real world example of this where I try to pick a video or something else on my YouTube channel or my website that is gonna be decided by this tree of thought process. So if you have any good ideas how we can use this, please leave a link in the comment below. And as always, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to check out this video up here now. And have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.